In mathematics, a generating function is a formal power series in one indeterminate, whose coefficients encode information about a sequence of numbers and that is indexed by the natural numbers. Generating functions were first introduced by Abraham de Moivre in 1730, in order to solve the general linear recurrence problem. One can generalize to formal power series in more than one indeterminate, to encode information about arrays of numbers indexed by several natural numbers. There are various types of generating functions, including ordinary generating functions, exponential generating functions, Lambert series. Bell series, and Dirichlet series, definitions and examples are given below. Every sequence in principle has a generating function of each type, but the ease with which they can be handled may differ considerably. The particular generating function, if any, that is most useful in a given context will depend upon the nature of the sequence and the details of the problem being addressed. Generating functions are often expressed in closed form, by some expression involving operations defined for formal power series. These expressions in terms of the indeterminate x may involve arithmetic operations, differentiation with respect to x and composition with other generating functions, since these operations are also defined for functions. The result looks like a function of x. Indeed, the closed form expression can often be interpreted as a function that can be evaluated at concrete values of x, and which has the formal power series as its Taylor series. This explains the designation, generating functions. However, such interpretation is not required to be possible, because formal power series are not required to give a convergent series when a non-zero numeric value is substituted for x. Also, not all expressions that are meaningful as functions of x are meaningful as expressions designating formal power series, negative and fractional. Powers of x are examples of this. Generating functions are not functions in the formal sense of a mapping from a domain to a codomain. The name is merely traditional, and they are sometimes more correctly called generating series. Definitions a generating function is a clothesline on which we hang up a sequence of numbers for display. Herbert Wilf, generating functionology Ordinary generating function The ordinary generating function of a sequence and is when the term generating function is used without qualification. It is usually taken to mean an ordinary generating function. If an is the probability mass function of a discrete random variable, then its ordinary generating function is called a probability generating function. The ordinary generating function can be generalized to arrays with multiple indices. For example, the ordinary generating function of a two-dimensional array am, n is exponential generating function the exponential generating function of a sequence and is exponential generating functions are generally more convenient than ordinary generating functions for combinatorial enumeration problems that involve labeled objects. Poisson generating function The Poisson generating function of a sequence and is Lambert series The Lambert series of a sequence and is note that in a Lambert series the index n starts at 1, not at 0, as the first term would otherwise be undefined. Bell series The Bell series of a sequence and is an expression in terms of both an indeterminate x and a prime p and is given by Dirichlet series. Generating functions Formal Dirichlet series are often classified as generating functions, although they are not strictly formal power series. The Dirichlet series generating function of a sequence and is the Dirichlet series generating function is especially useful when an is a multiplicative function, in which case it has an Euler product expression in terms of the function's Bell series. If an is a Dirichlet character then its Dirichlet series generating function is called a Dirichlet L series. Polynomial sequence generating functions The idea of generating functions can be extended to sequences of other objects. 
Thus, for example, polynomial sequences of binomial type are generated by where Pn is a sequence of polynomials and F is a function of a certain form. Scheffer sequences are generated in a similar way. See the main article Generalized Appel Polynomials for more information. Ordinary Generating Functions Polynomials are a special case of ordinary generating functions, corresponding to finite sequences, or equivalently sequences that vanish after a certain point. These are important in that many finite sequences can usefully be interpreted as generating functions, such as the Poincaré polynomial and others. A key generating function is the constant sequence 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, whose ordinary generating function is the left-hand side is the Maclaurin series expansion of the right-hand side. Alternatively, the right-hand side expression can be justified by multiplying the power series on the left by 1 minus x and checking that the result is the constant power series 1. In other words that all coefficients except the 1 of x0 vanish. Moreover there can be no other power series with this property. The left-hand side therefore designates the multiplicative inverse of 1 minus x in the ring of power series. Expressions for the ordinary generating function of other sequences are easily derived from this one. For instance, the substitution x ax gives the generating function for the geometric sequence 1, a, a2, a3, for any constant a. In particular, one can also introduce regular gaps in the sequence by replacing x by some power of x. So for instance for the sequence 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, one gets the generating function by squaring the initial generating function, or by finding the derivative of both sides with respect to x and making a change of running variable nn1. One sees that the coefficients form the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 1 has and the third power has as coefficients the triangular numbers chapter 1. 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, whose term n is the binomial coefficient, so that more generally, for any non-negative integer k in non-zero real value a, it is true that note that, since one can find the ordinary generating function for the sequence 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, of square numbers by linear combination of binomial coefficient generating sequences, rational functions the ordinary generating function of a sequence can be expressed as a rational function if and only if the sequence is a linear recursive sequence with constant coefficients, this generalizes the examples above, going in the reverse direction. Every sequence generated by a fraction of polynomials satisfies a linear recurrence with constant coefficients. These coefficients are identical to the coefficients of the fraction denominator polynomial. Multiplication yields convolution. Multiplication of ordinary generating functions yields a discrete convolution of the sequences. For example, the sequence of cumulative sums of a sequence with ordinary generating function g has the generating function because 1 is the ordinary generating function for the sequence. Asymptotic growth of a sequence in calculus. Often the growth rate of the coefficients of a power series can be used to deduce a radius of convergence for the power series. The reverse can also hold, often the radius of convergence for a generating function can be used to deduce the asymptotic growth of the underlying sequence. For instance, if an ordinary generating function g that has a finite radius of convergence of r can be written as where each of a and b is a function that is analytic to a radius of convergence greater than r, and where b0 then using a binomial coefficient or the gamma function. Often this approach can be iterated to generate several terms in an asymptotic series for an, in particular, the asymptotic growth of the coefficients of this generating function can then be sought via the finding of a, b, alpha, beta, and r to describe the generating function, as above. Similar asymptotic analysis is possible for exponential generating functions. 
with an exponential generating function, it is an n that grows according to these asymptotic formulae. Asymptotic growth of the sequence of squares is derived above. The ordinary generating function for the sequence of squares is with r equals 1, alpha equals 0, beta equals 3, r equals 0, and b equals x. We can verify that the squares grow as expected, like the squares. Asymptotic growth of the Catalan numbers The ordinary generating function for the Catalan numbers is with r equals 1 quarter, alpha equals 1, beta equals minus 1 half, r equals 1 half, and b equals minus 1 half. We can conclude that, for the Catalan numbers, Bivariate and multivariate generating functions One can define generating functions in several variables for arrays with several indices. These are called multivariate generating functions or, sometimes, supergenerating functions. For two variables, these are often called bivariate generating functions. For instance, since is the ordinary generating function for binomial coefficients for a fixed n, one may ask for a bivariate generating function that generates the binomial coefficients for all k in n. To do this, consider as itself a series in n, and find the generating function in y that has these as coefficients. Since the generating function for is the generating function for the binomial coefficients is, Examples. Generating functions for the sequence of square numbers in equals n to r. Ordinary generating function exponential generating function Bell series Dirichlet series generating function using the Riemann zeta function. The sequence and generated by a Dirichlet series generating function corresponding to, whereas the Riemann zeta function has the ordinary generating function. Multivariate generating function Multivariate generating functions arise in practice when calculating the number of contingency tables of non-negative integers with specified row and column totals. Suppose the table has R rows and C columns, the row sums are and the column sums are. Then, according to I, J, good, the number of such tables is the coefficient of in applications. Techniques of evaluating sums with generating function Generating functions give us several methods to manipulate sums and to establish identities between sums. The simplest case occurs when we then know that for the corresponding ordinary generating functions, for example, we can manipulate where are the harmonic numbers. Let be the ordinary generating function of the harmonic numbers, then and thus using Convolution with the numerator yields which can also be written as convolution 1. Consider A and B her ordinary generating functions. 2. Consider A and B her exponential generating functions. But sometimes the sum is complex. It is not easy to find the inner sums of which we want to evaluating. The free parameter method is another method for us to evaluate sums. Both methods discussed so far have n as limit in the summation, when n does not appear explicitly in the summation. We may consider n as a free parameter, treat as a coefficient of change the order of the summations on n and k, and try to compute the inner sum. For example, we want to compute we treat n as a free parameter, and set into changing summation gives now the inner sum is, thus then we obtain other applications generating functions are used to find a closed formula for a sequence given in a recurrence relation. For example, consider Fibonacci numbers. Find recurrence relations for sequences. The form of a generating function may suggest a recurrence formula. Explore the asymptotic behavior of sequences. Prove identities involving sequences. Solve enumeration problems in combinatorics and encoding their solutions. Rook polynomials are an example of an application in combinatorics. Evaluate infinite sums. Other generating functions. Examples of polynomial sequences generated by more complex generating functions include Appel polynomials, Chebyshev polynomials, difference polynomials, generalized Appel polynomials, Q difference polynomials, 
other sequences generated by more complex generating functions, double exponential generating functions, for example, Aitken's array, triangle of numbers, 